Hi, I'm going to help you get a super simple resume set up that looks just like this. It'll be easy for recruiters to read, easy for robots to read, and easy for you to build. So you're going to start with a blank document here. And the first thing I like to do is update the margins. So go to the Layout tab, and then you're going to select the narrow margins from this margins drop down. That gives you half inch margins. That really just gives you a little more room to write your resume. Next thing you want to do is modify the normal style. So you can keep it as Calibri if you want. I like to switch it to font size 10 and uh, the font Verdana. Uh, Verdana, the only reason I bumped that down to font size 10 is it's a little bit bigger of a font. The next thing you need to do is add your contact information, right? If the employers don't have that, they won't know who to reach out to. So click this insert tab, hit the table drop down and do a two by one table. Next, you'll want to get rid of the margins. Just click Cell Margins and bump that down to zero for left and right. What that's going to do is make sure that the content lines up with your page margins. It'll just make the resume a little cleaner. In this left box, you're going to put your full name. And in the right box, you're going to put your contact information. So what you put here is kind of up to you, but um, you're going to rank a little bit better as far as um, getting an interview if you put phone number, email, and a physical address, like a street address. So you can see I do that here. It automatically makes my email into a link. I don't want that, so I just Command Z or Control Z. After you've got that, go ahead and highlight it. And then up here, you've got uh, alignment, and you want to align it to the bottom right. That's under the Layout tab. And then you select your name, and you can align that to the bottom left. And the problem is your name is super tiny. It's not going to stand out. So I bump that font size up to, you know, 28, 30. just depends on the length of your name and how it's going to fit in that table. So you don't want all these table borders in your resume. So you can just highlight the whole table, go to the Table Design tab, and then select Borders and click No Border. So now we want to put all your experience on the resume, so we're going to set up the template for that. First thing you're going to do, in all caps, you're going to type SKILLS and then hit ENTER twice. Then you're going to type EXPERIENCE in all caps and again hit ENTER twice, and then EDUCATION in all caps and hit ENTER once. Next, highlight SKILLS and go to this line and paragraph spacing options. You go to line spacing options and I like to put 12 points above and 12 points below or before and after. And that just gives it a little bit of room to stand out on the resume. Another thing that will help the skills section stand out is if we give it a bottom border. Um, and we can bump the font size up a little bit too. I think about 18 or 20 does a pretty good job for making this stand out. All right, and I'm not going to make you go through all that again, so a really easy tool, double click skills, and then double click this format painter, and just click experience and education, and boom, those are formatted. Then deselect the format painter. Now under skills, what we're going to do is enter a three column table, and we're just going to put a bullet list of skills. So if you click the insert tab, you have the table drop down, and you'll choose a three by one table. And again, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the margins on the left and right, just so that everything is flush with the margins of the page. And again, that's under the Table Layout tab, and there's a Cell Margins button. You click that, and you just take left and right both down to zero. Awesome. So you can just hit Shift-8 space, and that enters a little asterisk that'll turn into a bullet point, or you can just uh, click the bullet point from the top menu. And here, all I'm doing is adding uh, skills that I have from my experience that match keywords in the job description. Now I have to make sure that I actually have these skills and that I'm not just BSing it um, because that's fraud, which is illegal. Fun fact. And don't just sort these randomly. Put the top keywords in the top left because that's where the eye is going to track. And again, to make the resume cleaner, I highlight the whole table. I go to Table Design click borders and make sure that there's no borders on this. Great, so that's it for the skills section. Now what do we do for experience? Well you want to start with your most recent job. So you're going to put the month and year that you started at that job and then do a space, a dash, a space and type present if you're still currently employed at that job. Otherwise if you're not currently employed you can just put the end date there and follow the same format of month and year. 
um, but we're going to assume that you're currently employed at that job, so let's go ahead and put present. So what we're going to do next is make sure that the dates are aligned on the left and the experience is kind of pushed over to the right. So in the ruler up at the top, I click by the 2, and that's going to place a tab index 2 inches in. Now if that ruler is not showing for you, go ahead and just hit view and there should be a ruler option there. So now hitting tab will place my cursor at that 2 inch uh, tab index that we put and I'm going to make sure my font is bold. And here what you're going to do is type your job title from that most recent job, unbold your font and add a comma and then type the company name and the city and state. So hitting enter will place you on the next line and then you hit tab which will place you at our tab stop from earlier. You can add a bulleted list and then here's where you're going to actually start putting your experience. So the first thing you want to think of is any experience or achievements that you can quantify. Uh, that's going to help you stand out when the robots scan your resume. It's also going to help you stand out uh, when they're looking for candidates to call for an interview. Another thing you'll want to do is try to focus on some specific accomplishments or achievements that you would feel comfortable speaking to in a job interview. These should be things that you are confident speaking about and that you're proud of. Another thing you'll want to do is start each bullet point with an action verb if you can and make sure you're not repeating those verbs so that it's actually an interesting read for the hiring manager. Just remember action verbs imply you get things done. Another thing you want to make sure you're doing is putting keywords in here. So these are keywords that appear in the job posting. They're keywords that are relevant to your work experience, but it's going to make it so that the scanners and the people reviewing your resume are going to rank you higher. And I'm all about making your life easier and not duplicating work. So what I do is I just hit enter a few times and highlight the job I just put in there, come back down and paste it. And then all I have to do at that point is update, you know, the job title, update the start and end date, update the company name, update the information, but the formatting is all done for me, which is super nice. And next, we're going to just follow a similar format for education. Now, I'm assuming this is kind of a mid-career uh, resume here, so we're not going to put a lot of detail under education. All I'm going to put on the left is graduated and then the date, uh, which would be the month and year. Or if you haven't graduated yet, you can always write graduating, so that's your expected graduation. Um, or you can just put the month and year, and they can determine if that was in the past or the future. Uh, it's kind of your choice, uh, whatever you think looks best. For this example, I'm just going to assume you've already graduated. Uh, and then we don't have that tab stop, so we're going to click the 2 again, and then hit tab. And then bold our font. And here, instead of a job title, we're just going to put our degree or certificate that we earned, unbold the font, put a comma, and then we're going to put the uh, university name or school name, uh, and then the city and state again. So that's the basic resume format. And uh, if you like this video, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe. It really helps support this channel. And I wish you the best of luck in your job hunt. Thank you for watching.